Students need to be engaged in academic interaction, but academic interaction that is highly structured and highly supported. Often we throw vulnerable learners into a group work process or a partner process without clear expectations of what they need to do, nor the language facility to be able to engage in that collaborative process, whether it's engaging in a science experiment or whether it's analyzing a paper and providing feedback to a partner. While writing the program, I tried to make sure there were plenty of opportunities where students just brainstormed using everyday English or reviewed content using everyday language. But when they needed to be engaging in a more cognitively complex task, we really explicitly taught them language that would be portable and applicable for this task and that we were very clear on the process, what you needed to accomplish with your partner or your fellow group members, as well as the language demands. Because if our goal is academic language acceleration, as well as content and literacy acquisition, we need to make sure that every single student in the group process or partner process is involved in speaking, listening, reading, and writing. As a duo, as a team, you're going to complete the third and final sentence that provides more elaboration. And I would like my bees in the room. Bees, may I see your hands? You are going to lead the discussion. You'll notice that there are several blanks in the sentence. Each time B, you're going to begin by asking, what should we write? And, and A, you will answer first by saying, we could put. Bs, begin the collaborative process by asking, what should we write? B? As a result, teens who frequently come to school feeling fatigued have considerable difficulties collaborating when they are doing a project such as an ink drop. So, what do you think makes sense? We could also write, as a result, teens who constantly come to, come to school feeling lethargic have considerable difficulty staying awake during the project.